to Reykjavik. <laughs> we made it to Iceland. It's cold. Super cold. Don't have my jacket yet. We just took a fly bus to the airport and now we're on kind of like another shuttle, but we really don't know where we're going. So I hope we're going to the right spot. So we just got stopped off at one of the bus stops and we had about a six to seven minute walk to find our cottage that we got from Airbnb. So we actually just pulled up. This is actually our place right here that we're gonna be staying for the week. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys on a quick tour through our cottage. This is gonna be basically our entranceway uh, that we just walked through. There's actually three floors in this place. We'll see the first floor first. Don't, Don't worry about the cat. Okay, this is gonna be our restroom. We do have a bedroom in here uh, with, I guess this is a place for two people to sleep. It's kind of two beds put together. Uh, closet space, there's mirror. Here's the bathroom. So the bathroom is on the bottom floor. It's very toasty in here. We have the toilet, we have a bidet. I don't know how that thing even works. Um, and we have a washroom also in here. Shower and uh, there's the bathroom. Let's move up a floor. There's Christina. This is our kitchen on floor number two. So a very compact kitchen, it's very cute. Let's see, there's our little mini stove, our fridge, our little dining room area, and then you walk into this room and it is our little living room area. So it's like everything that you need. Let's go up to the top floor. Now I've already done this and I've already hit my head. You have to go at an angle whenever you're walking up here because the roof kind of slants. Okay, here we go. All right. This is, <laughs> got it. This is, I guess, the master bedroom. It does have a little area to be sitting and kind of watching TV over here. And then this is the master uh, bed. And um, basically, that is our tour of our little cottage in Iceland. We're so excited to be here. We finally made it. Can't wait to start the day tomorrow morning. It's already like 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, right now, so there's not much we can do tonight. But tomorrow, we're going to go exploring, and we're going to take you guys along. Now heading up the clock church tower. We made it to the top of the church. It is super windy up here. Uh, but it helps you get the views when we make it all the way to the top. Chocolate tart and 
inside there's a hot melting chocolate, salt and fruits, and here we have a sorbet with a chocolate knife, amaranth with uh, vanilla, cream, and white and red strawberries, and here we have the chocolate globe, inside the chocolate globe there's coffee ice cream, and underneath there's a mascarpone cheese and chocolate rice, and here I have a hot caramel sauce, you ready? Yes. This dessert looks amazing. So I'm heading to the restroom right now. So apparently the sink, you share it with the uh, men's and the women's side. So Christina just went to the restroom and I'm gonna try to scare whenever she's going to go wash her hands. So, <laughs> it turns out the hand that I grabbed wasn't Christina's. She was like, there's some lady that screamed in the restroom. <laughs> so, I just grabbed somebody's random hand in the restroom. <laughs> Good morning, today is day number two in Iceland. We're going to take a tour of the Golden Circle today. We just made our first stop on the tour in one of the cities. I'm not sure of the city name. I'll put it probably right here once I figure out the full name, uh, because it's hard to pronounce all of these names. But this city is actually located on top of some uh, tectonic plates where they have earthquakes a lot. They have a guaranteed earthquake probably every eight to 10 years, which is usually pretty large, a little bit higher than six on the, uh, the magnitude scale of, of earthquakes. But something really cool right here is um, here's basically plates that separate North America from Europe. We're at stop number two on our tour. This is the smaller waterfall that we're gonna be seeing today. We're in the gift shop right now and I found something I've always wanted. Fresh Icelandic air. There's, it's air in a can. We're at our next stop and this is the actual large waterfall. It is called... Go <laughs> Foss. <laughs> Here's one thing I've noticed about Iceland. Iceland is very expensive everywhere you go, so everything costs a lot more. Even whenever you want to use the restroom and use the bathroom, you have to pay by credit card just to go into the bathroom. That's crazy, I've never seen that before.
tour guide's about to leave, so we're trying to make it back to our, our tour van as fast as possible. I think we're gonna make it. I had some cravings, so I think we're gonna go eat pizza in this pizzeria place. Reykjavik is such a beautiful city, but it's like overtaken by graffiti. Like there's so much graffiti basically everywhere. Um, and a lot of it doesn't look that great. and then we're waiting for an email to see if we're going on our tour tonight to go try to see the Northern Lights. Tonight, uh, last night was actually canceled, so we're waiting for that email just to see if we're gonna get a chance to go today. We're going, we got the email. <laughs> we're about to be picked up for our tour to go hopefully see the Northern Lights. The way it works, if you don't actually see them, they'll reschedule you till another day. So hopefully we'll see it tonight where we don't have to reschedule tomorrow. Christina is bundled up. I'm wearing like five layers of clothing right now. I've never had so much clothes on before. We just made it back from our tour to see the Northern Lights. We were very lucky we did happen to see it. However, we couldn't get any video. It was too, too dark. Uh, it, was very, it was almost pitch black. So enjoy some of the pictures that we were able to get on our sightseeing tour of the Northern Lights. Breathing for you. 